What's up, vapors? Vape Dog COTC here, and you know the grand, gracious Homer. Yeah. So, what we got on our line today is uh, Ragnarok's Redemption. Yes, guys, we know we promised you guys uh, two weeks and then a redemption, but things just got in the way. I went on vacation, Homer went on vacation. We were going to do it last week, but Homer got thrown, on, thrown into his new management position. So he's been working there. So now we got a free day to do you guys. So just think about it. You guys are six weeks steep now. This is about six, seven, almost eight weeks of steeping. Yes. This, that's going to be an even better taste, guys, for, is, your, redemption, for your redemption steeped. video. Steeped. And I can tell you right now, after those weeks, I actually have been vaping on this a lot. I, I, I've honestly loved it so far. It's a lot better than what we were doing, but we'll get into that in a second. First, I want to throw out... First, I want to throw out the fact that we will be revealing in this bag is all your names for this wonderful package of my first giveaway. At the end of this video, Homer will do the honors of drawing your name, and then we will contact you. My Pazowski. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to do this in the same order, guys, that we did before. I got our scores right here. So, Odin. Odin was uh, one of the better ones, apparently. Uh, Odin, I gave it an 8 on flavor. Go ahead and juice up. I gave it an 8 on flavor, uh, and and you gave it a 6 on flavor. It got a 6 on smell from me and a 5 on uh, smell from you. So let's see if uh, they have an, we can improve this a bit. So we're not going to talk about too much about the flavor, because if you guys want to know about the flavors, you guys can go back to... Uh, uh, the original video, we're going to talk about what's changed since then with the steeping. And Odin was a creamy, delicious flavor of coconut and cinnamon. Mm. And to me, it tastes more like a graham cracker when it steeps. It sure does taste way better, though. <laughs> I would get a dead battery. Woo. So go ahead and talk about what's changed for you and what... Is that a six, Nick? No, it's a three. Dude, these coils. I tell you, it's it's not really a coconut flavor. It's more of a graham cracker. I taste a slight hint of coconut, like a coconut cookie. Very like coconut. But that chemical taste after the six weeks of steeping is gone. It's kind of there, but... It's masked and it kind of tastes like a slight fruit. If you're tasting what I'm tasting. It tastes really good. Yes. It, it is, is so much better than it was. And I can honestly say that I have bumped this up on the list or on the rating to 10 out of 10. This bad boy is kicking, bro. For <laughs> flavor, I have bumped it up to 10 out of 10. Got a flavor build on here. Got that twisted. So what would you uh, bump your flavor up since you were at a 6? That is a 10 right now. That is a 10. That is. is bumped up. After steeping, that is a 10. So you've got a full out on the redemption. 10 out of 10 on the first one, guys. The smell um, is fucking amazing. The smell is amazing. That already had a 10 out of 10. Nope, no, that one did not have the 10 out of 10. This one had the 6 out of 10 and 5 out of 10. And I gotta say, I'm gonna change my 6 out of 10 to about an 8, because the smell could be a little bit better. Dude, it smells like straight up desserts in here right now. I know, but I mean, it could smell a little more like it's supposed to be, but... I like it as an overall vape. It is fucking amazing. Freaking amazing! <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to yeah. pause here and ship to the next flavor. <laughs> Alright guys, so our next flavor... It's Fenrir. We're going in the same order we did in the last time, guys. So, again, if you haven't seen this first, the first video, you guys see it the first time to understand why we let it steep for as long as we did. Well, we meant to do it for only two weeks, but yeah. Point being, uh, Fenrir, which was the creamy custard tart with melon. Honestly, they need to steep these juices before they send them out. Well, they, remember, they were rushed. They were rushed. Yeah. They blast. I think I put a little bit too much on that. But... Shoot, that's an understatement for me. <laughs> the more, the better. Whoa! Whoa! It's 
like volcanic spitting on my wrists. You go. Ooh, that smells so good. So, the, the uh, ratings we gave this one was a 5 out of 10 on flavor for me, the 4 out of 10 on flavor for Homer, and 10 out of 10 all the way around on smell. I gotta say that smell has not depreciated. In fact, Ooh, it's gotten better. If we is, could, if we could go over a ten right now for the smell, that is too smooth. That is amazing. It is very smooth, and the flavor has jumped. I'm not saying this isn't a ten out of ten flavor. This really it's isn't. Not. It's not a ten out of ten flavor, but it has gone up. I would say about an eight. I'd give it an 8 too. So, Hummel, you've jumped four points on it. I've jumped three points on it. So, it is now an 8 out of 10 after steeping. So, guys, if you get these juices, really steep them. Better have another supply of juice before you get these. Yeah. But, um, and you don't have to steep them as long as we did. Just like I said, we got caught up on other things. Um, so. And guys, this, these actually go up from from 386 to 12 milligrams of nicotine in it. I'm not sure that 12 grams would do very well with the flavor, though. You got a tank, yeah, I guess. And it's 50-50. So this actually could work for drippers or tank users. Still has a little taste that sticks on the tongue. Not too pleasant, but it is a good vape. I wouldn't call it an all-day vape, but it is a good vape. I would call it a social vape, if you want, want to do that. Um, it's got like a blueberry taste to it. It kind of does, but it's mostly it's melon and creamy custard tart. And my mod is getting hot. Why does my mod always get hot? It's, it's always in the reviews. We're going right through it. I might need yeah. To take a little break. <laughs> um, so, uh... My mod's getting hot, too. We'll get to this third flavor, and then we'll take a break. For you guys, you won't even notice, notice the time has passed at all. Yeah. But, uh... For smell, honestly, it can't get better than 10 out of 10. It's already, it was already there, so it's still a 10 out of 10. If we could go higher than 10 out, 10 out of 10, we would, but we're not gonna jump that barrier, guys. So far, so good on your redemption, Ragnarok. So far, so good. All right, guys, we are on tier, which was the strawberry flavor, and it scored real well with us because it was a very, very strong strawberry. Still got a chemical taste. But you can get that with a lot of the strawberry flavors. Yeah, that's true. It still has that chemical taste. And but it's but it's it's, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. It's it's much less severe, but I can't push this up a lot. Me neither. I could probably give it one more point. Me too. So it would be an eight out of ten now. But just like before, the flavor or the the uh, the smell on it is much better too. And so, mine, yours was a 10 out of 10 on this, mine was a 9 out of 10, I can push this up to a 10 out of 10 on smell. Yeah, it smells so great. So, it's an 8 out of 10 on um, flavor from both of us. Alright guys, after our brief break, uh, we are back, and on a new camera, because the batteries died on the other one, we don't have any batteries for some frickin' reason. So, borrowing another camera, but on to the good stuff. We are on Loki, which was the worst of the bunch uh, during the other one, because it had only a 3 out of 10 from both of us, but had a great smell. Actually, that's one of the shop asked me about this juice yesterday. Mm-hmm. Tell me. So, it. let's see how this turned out over the... Hasn't really changed to me. It, this change it doesn't have that that uh, chemically taste to it, but it still has the kind of you don't know what the hell's in here kind of taste. You know, it, it, you have a bit more of a cheesecake taste now, but just only a bit. It still has that. It tricks you the frick out, and it's. But the juice that tricks you out like this, it's not something you can put at a time on when you want to vape or nothing. It's like. Uh, take a few hits and then change your flavor kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. 
as far as the flavor actually goes, it's a bit better than it was. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to bump it up a point to 4 out of 10. What did I have it at? Same as me, 3 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to bump it up to a 4 also. It's a 4 out of 10. So this one hasn't really redeemed itself at all. And this one I had high hopes for. I thought maybe since it's the lowest one, it just needed steep time. And well, it's gotten that. It's gotten more than that. If you, if you exhale it through your nose, it's really good. Yeah, because then you can actually taste and smell the cheesecake like it's supposed to taste. But other than that, I don't know if it's any different with a drip tip on here. It's a bit better with a drip tip because it just hits your tongue like that, but it also, maxim it also amplifies the chemical taste that's still there. So... I'm still gonna have to say this is still on the four out of ten. Yeah, it is a four out of ten, but its smell—its smell has definitely gotten better. Yes, it has. And the smell has gotten better, which is what we weren't looking for. Smell to get better. We were looking for, you know, taste. Taste to get better. So I'm gonna bump the smell up on this one to a nine out of ten. You had it at a eight out of ten. I go to nine. Nine now. So. So there's our final scores, guys. You don't get any more redemption videos. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. We're back once more for Hemdal. Hemdal is our fifth flavor, and it's a banana flavor. Uh, for those of you who are just kind of don't want to go back to that, but and our scores for these, like I said before, were seven out of out of ten for flavor on both of us, and nine out of ten on flavor or smell for both of us. So. Smell has increased a lot. So smell is definitely a 10 out of 10 now. You can actually taste the banana. Oh yeah. My top fell off. <laughs> Why does my chair spin? I have to say, I'm enjoying this flavor a lot more than I was before. I'm, I might have to say that this one has also gone up real well. I'd say, 10 out of 10. I'd say about an 8 because it's got it's got a little aftertaste to it. And it's steep for quite a while. You know, after a bigger hit, I'm going to go 9 out of 10. Because I do get that aftertaste on a bigger hit. I'm always getting bigger taste. Yeah, so. Yeah, 9 out of 10 for this one. And an 8 out of 10 from him. So he's gone up one point. I went up two points. And smell is a 10 out of 10. So guys, this is a good flavor after steeping. Um, we're going to get on to the last one. And then the moment everyone's been waiting for. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're on our last flavor. Freya, which had a 6 out of 10 from me on flavor. 5 out of 10 from him on flavor. And 7 out of 10 on smell from me. 6 out of 10 on smell from him. Let's try it up. This one really hasn't increased a lot. Nah. Not at all. This one hasn't changed much either. It smells a bit better. Yeah. Like with the other one. Tastes a tad bit better. Would I buy it? Probably not. I'll probably say that uh, I'm gonna go seven out of ten on flavor on this one now. And yours was a five. I'm gonna go about a six. Six out of ten. And for smell, I'll give it an eight. Seven, out of ten. Seven. So we both went up one point on everything. Well, guys, I guess all that remains is uh, the giveaway, guys. Uh, so let's mix this little bag of names all up. I mixed it up before, but we're mixing it up again just so you guys can see we're really dedicated to making this random. All right. Here goes, good sir. Mm. J. 
Joshua and Greenlander Grill, or whatever. The winner is Joshua Ungrill Ungur Ungur Leader. Ungur. I'm sorry if we butcher up your name, guys. Shoto. But it is Joshua Ungur Leader. Let's see if I can see that. Focus. There we go. Joshua Ungur Leader. You are the lucky winner of the goodie. Where'd the goodie bag go? of this goodie bag and you guys have already seen what's in here but I'll go ahead and show you guys again you get one from Voodoo Vapor Lounge and two from the God Vapors and these are really I've smelt, smelt these and tried these these are really good ones so this once I get your information I'll send you a send you a message and once I get your information I will send that out to you later on probably next week since it's already Friday so I'll send you it Monday, Tuesday-ish. I might throw in a little extra. Who knows? He might. So that about wraps us up, guys. And congratulations again to Joshua. I'm just going to say you. Joshua, Joshua you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Woo. You won the first giveaway. Thanks to everyone who, who put their name in and, and you know helped push us along. You guys have been wonderful. We're up to 130, and like I said, I still got another giveaway to go. I will not tell you when subscriber is going to is going to rocket this into promotion, but we got one to go. And uh, like I said, I've dropped the uh, the numbers for the King's Crown because I have something special actually for the thousands viewer. I'm actually going to do a mod. For the thousand spew, a thousand subscribers is going to be a mod at 500, courtesy of Homer, is going to be the King's Crown full line, guys. And like I said, I still got another su surprise one g going uh, out. So, and who knows? Homer might contribute some more. It, it, it's all up to him. So, until next time, guys, go ahead and subscribe for more. Again, congratulations to Joshua. And uh, you want to take the camera blow this time? It would be mine. <laughs> Peace.